and welcome back to Old Staples Crafts. I'm Liz Ewell. Um, if you don't know me, I am a stamping up demonstrator based in the UK, working across the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. Welcome to, sorry, I'm just checking that we've gone live, which we have. Um, welcome to one of my regular YouTube lives. I am here every Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. UK time and every Tuesday morning uh, 11 o'clock UK time. Sorry, I've just realised I've got a receipt I need to file away in my pocket, which means it will end up in the wash. Um, so, welcome to Old Stables Crafts and um, I'm playing with new stuff. So you may have seen my unboxing video yesterday. I see, say video, it was a live yesterday, um, which was such fun. Really enjoyed doing that. Uh, and today I'm going to play with some of the new stuff that's really, really new, as opposed to stuff that we were allowed to buy on the pre-order. So when you join, do let me know where you're joining from. Hello, Rachel. Um, and remember that if you enjoy what you're seeing, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you don't already subscribe, you can do that by clicking that button in the bottom right hand corner. So I will be going live probably most days until the end of May, but they won't be scheduled. Only the Tuesday and the Thursday will be scheduled. But I'm now going to flip the camera down so that you can see what we're starting with. Um, so I'm starting with that beautiful a wash. Is it a wash with beauty? The beautiful a wash with beauty. Um, so this was one of the paper packs that we looked at yesterday. Let me bring all of it in. So if you missed yesterday, you can see all of it. Uh, so make sure we've got the right end. We have so the colours. Oh, and I must tell you which page this is on because I can open my catalogue on camera now. Um, so exciting. I want to say, yes, page 66 and 67. So uh, you've got the paper, you've got the new iridescent pearls, which I have dug out for today, uh, the stamp set and the dies, which I will show you closer when we get there. Um, oh, it's one of your favourites. Excellent, Rachel. Hello, Sharon from South Australia. Hello, Carol from Washington State. You are getting to see me from the beginning. And hello, B. So, yes, so this is the one that I'm going to start with. I have got an idea to do a second card, not with this. Um, so, yes, if you don't like the Wash With Beauty, you only have one card to have a look at. So, colour-wise, Balmy Blue Brushing brushing balmy blue blushing bride calypso coral granny apple green merry merlot mossy meadow polish pink and so saffron apologies i'm in the middle of redoing my um nail varnish and i i had some parcels i needed to get out today so i haven't managed to redo it yet so beautiful papers i mean they are just lovely i like that there's the darker colors as well so it's not too in yourself in your face pink although that actually gives me a thought um which is something that i will be planning for later in the year uh well later in the summer let me just grab the dies because i just want to check something i don't know why my glasses are over here because 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 just like the wonderful wizard of oz um Hello, Shaz. Hello, Candy. Missed you. Right. I'm just having a think that... Do these fit? They fit! So let's see how many fit. I think we're going to find they all do. It's going to be exciting. Hello, Nora. Hello, Sherry from Rainy, Oregon. Um, it's beautiful here today. Sorry, we're about to have a bit of a heat wave. So, yes, this is getting really exciting. I think we're going to find that all of these fit, if we can only work out how. Um, 
See, I want to say that that should go there, but it doesn't. I can't believe that if some fit, the others don't, but I could... Oh, it's because I've got the die the wrong way up. Duh! I don't quite like plugging a brain in, you all. Right, so yes, that fits there. It's just... Yes, you caught me live again. I know. Apparently, I don't have my brain in, though. So these, you get two of that one, so I'll only pull one off. Of course, I won't be able to get them back on the sheet now. Uh, but I do think it is fair to say that all of these dies fit all of these patterns. And they do. So if one day you just don't want to get your stamps out, you don't have to. Ta-da! Oh, yes. How are you, Shaz? We need to know how you are. Because we want you to be better. So, as I say, I'm never going to get these back on. So, I think I probably won't try. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to admit defeat before I even start. Um, and then there is a huge, and I mean huge, trellis. That can go over there. Uh, oh, I have got them all back on, even though they're not in the right place. Um, so the other die that comes with it is this huge trellis, which I think probably fits really nicely on the front of a North American letter card. So an A2, I think you call them card. Not so much international A4, but there we go. Um, right, so these you can die cut. Um, hello, Lorna. Uh, and then we've got a nice kind of bunch of floral and then this one that I'm using. So really nice, really jolly, really, really great cards, um, papers. And I'm going to use the cheats paper. I mean, I call it the cheats paper. I don't know why I would call it the cheats paper because it's perfectly viable. But it's this is if you need a quick card paper. Just saying. And got, oh no, I had a lump and now I've got a bump. So the first thing I am going to do is chop this in half this way. So this is 12 inches wide. My trimmer has a six inch bar. So I'm just going to do that. So that's my first cut. This piece I can obviously put to one side. And then this one I'm going to trim down. And I can't decide exactly... Hmm. I'm thinking I might actually want it on the whole of the dock just being and oh no oh oh fingers crossed that you don't have to Shaz hello Bernadette your package has arrived yes excellent oh I'm thrilled yeah, I'm going to, I, ooh, I've changed, I've changed my mind on exactly what I'm going to do. But that's kind of, you know. Right, so I'm going to cut a strip of this. I'm going to make it go further. I'm actually going to use this end. So a normal card front would be ten and a half centimetres or approximately four and, a, and an eighth of an inch. Four and one eighth of an inch, yeah. So I'm going to bring it back to an arbitrary three inches for no other reason than that's what I fancied chopping at. So let's pop that back in its little container. Come back up again. So this is going to go on the front of my polished pink card. Com C com sa. So I'm going to have it so it's at the bottom and I'll trim the top. But I do want to bring in another colour and I'm actually going to bring in balmy blue. I mean, I had it out anyway, but I had it out for one of the die cuts. Um, what pieces have I got in here? That might be a be the best match for a side of a card. Uh, none of them are perfect. No. Nope. So I'll use... Actually, I'll use a long one. Right. Okay. So I just need... I just need... This is no way this is going to be a full length. Oh, it is. But I'm actually going to not assume that it is. I'm going to cut this in half 
this is one inch so I'm going to cut it in half and the easiest way to do that is to have it on the half inch either side on your trimmer and then just slice you do get lots of time for watching lives shares absolutely Ooh, ooh. So Bernadette said something. No, what? Mm. I'm confused, Lorna, as to why you're saying no idea. Mm. But I'm really pleased that your package has arrived, Bernadette. That is the best news I've had for a wee while. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my adhesive onto here. I'm going to use tear and tape purely because it's nice and straight. Um, I will end up trimming some of this adhesive off when I do the whole trimming it down. And I'm going to ignore that phone call because my husband should be around and if he's not we have that wonderful thing called an answering machine. There was a question at the top of the stream. Fair enough. Right, so I do hate a phone that rings. When I was working in an office, we had a thing that you had to answer a phone within um, four rings. Otherwise, it was rude. Uh, and the number of people that didn't was quite worrying. So I ended up, oh, oh it's my, they're going to have to just leave me a message. It's, it's about the car. Um, it's fine. I will phone them back later. I did say that I was busy today, so it's not going to come as a surprise. So I'm lining this up on my grid paper. And they did even say that if they couldn't get hold of me, they would send me an email, which I think is always good. So they've gone away. It's fine. You didn't expect to watch me, but it's 3 p.m. in England. I'm always live at 3 p.m. in in the UK on a Thursday. Um, you haven't had a landline for over 20 years. Ah, right. Well, hmm. so I'm guessing you don't live in the middle of nowhere where there is no mobile phone signal. Because that's where I live. Um, so, I mean, I say I... You know, he was coming through on my mobile as well. Uh, that's because when I'm at home, um, the mobile signal goes through on Wi-Fi. Um, so, yeah. That is why we have a landline. That and the fact that my husband doesn't use his mobile phone. He has a mobile phone. In fact, he has more than one mobile phone. Um, but apparently they are for his emergencies. Don't even get me started. Right, so let me fold that in half. So this is going to go on here. Now, normally I would trim from the bottom, but I'm wondering if I might trim from the top because I really don't want to take that pattern away. I'm going to offset it. This is always my cheat. If you're not gonna be able to put it exactly in the middle, don't even bother, put it to one side. Um, so, in fact, I might do it so I trim top and bottom. That way I'll get a nice clean edge both ends. Right, I do, however, want to run some ribbon round. So, because I want polished pink on polished pink on polished pink. Let's get my not sticky scissors. No neighbours for miles, but you have a reasonable signal. Because we have very bad mobile phone signal i can get um i can guarantee hmm, i say guarantee i can pretty much guarantee so i'm just finding my seal plus which is not where my adhesive normally is um i can pretty much guarantee that i can get a mobile signal uh at the very top of our staircase which bearing in mind we rarely go up there um because we ha it's a like a mezzanine um, 
so there isn't much reason to go up the stairs but I can get a signal at the top of the stairs at the moment but as they're building houses behind us whether that will continue because our nearest mobile phone mast is in the town our nearest town um, and they're building the houses between us and our nearest town so we may or may not continue to get a mobile phone signal at the top of the stairs the other place which is a really strange place to be getting a mobile phone signal is in the middle of our we've got a kitchen diner and there's a square foot where i can guarantee that i can get a mobile phone signal i say guarantee mostly um having said that when i was still working for the man um i would therefore make sure that my work phone was never anywhere near it uh, i'm going to use some liquid adhesive just to glue this down apart from over the ribbon because i like to have a seal plus sandwich over my ribbon um so yes um i am not a great fan of the phone i have to say particularly so here's the thing i was i i i have regular medication hello post cancer um and it's preventative let me just get that out there um so i have to get repeat prescriptions quite regularly well every month um because they won't give me more than a month's supply at a time because they get paid more if they only give me a prescription every month so that's fine we're not that far away from our local gp um and they dispense because we live in the middle of nowhere so they sent me a text i i ordered a repeat prescription they've got an app that i can order it on so i ordered my repeat prescription and they sent me a text message yesterday afternoon please note the use of the word afternoon um to say that they needed to do a review of my medication and please could i ring, ring them in the morning uh to make a telephone appointment so the other it's only one of the bits of medication that they want to review the others are fine so i went in to pick up my medication this morning uh in person and the receptionists were busy on the phone and every time they put the phone down and it would ring again they'd pick it up and i'm thinking hang on i'm here i'm here why are you answering the phone when i'm here so yeah i wasn't very happy about that oh i've got the dies out that i want so i want this in balmy blue so this is going to go kind of there-ish there is going to be a oh, actually i don't even know that it needs it i'm going to change my mind i was going to use the dies i'm not using the dies i'm 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 not so there um and that's of course why i managed to get all the dies back on because i had um i hadn't put them all away so anyway so yes not happy because I, I ended up waiting for about a quarter of an hour. Um, so, yes. Uh, so this says just because. Now, I'm going to have to be careful because we've got a lump here. So I'm going to be putting it probably over here. Probably fairly central. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to stamp onto the paper. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll be making a mat. So what have I missed? Uh, the council made sure we all, all had a signal as we're so isolated. Good. We were the first to get... We've got fibre broadband, which is why we can use that um, for our phone, for our landline. Uh, and it's brilliant. Love fibre broadband. Hello, Deborah from Michigan. Uh, maybe there'll be a new mass one day because of the new housing. There's not that much housing. It's only 35 house, 36 homes. Uh, so I don't think so. Um, and they need planning permission to put a mast up. Um, and I have to say, I think we would fight it. Because we don't really need it. It's not that vital that people have a mobile phone signal. Um, there, are, uh, there are wonderful things called landlines. Um, this is the best suite collection to use in uh, on a grey it's a grey rainy day in Arkansas I'm so sorry 
You've received a shipping email from SU this morning and my order was delivered within the hour. Brilliant. Maybe they'll have to, uh, they have to answer within four rings also. There are two receptionists. I think it would be, and there's a queue. So the phone has a queuing system. So when you ring, it does actually say, by the way, everyone's on the phone and you're going to have to wait. Um, I think if there are people actually in the office waiting to see you, I think it is polite to deal with them first. I don't know. That's just me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be brave. Petal, uh, polished pink again. Now, where's the edge? The edge is there. So I'm going to go a bit over that way. And stamp. Fingers crossed. And there are back room people as well. They were having a slightly stressful day because they had no internet. Um, but that wasn't why people were phoning. I mean, this was about... The phone lines open at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and this was at about 10 past 9. So it wasn't the early morning I need an appointment today rush. That's at 8 o'clock. But, yeah, I just think if there's someone here up there in person, it might be polite to deal with them. It's just me. Anyway, so I am going to add some iridescent pearls. Excuse me. I've got a fizzy drink and it's fizzy. Uh, you're with me, right? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lorna. Thank you, Shaz. Yes, I think if someone has made the effort to go in, they should get priority. And these were only people who were phoning for, I need to make an appointment in some day's time. It wasn't like the triage. Right, so I'm only going to really put them around here. Uh, but they're beautiful. It's almost like I don't want to use them. So we'll have, ooh, I think that deserves one just down there. And then I'll bring it up so you can see what I've been doing. Uh, and we'll have one there. And I don't like my fingers without nail varnish on. On there, and then I am going to add another bit of ribbon. So this ribbon, it's the open weave, has carried over. Um, so, yes. Quite often they do a new uh, in-colour ribbon for the now old in-colours. Um, but for the last... Actually, they didn't have ribbon for the ones that have just gone, cinnamon cider, my favourite colour, um, and things. I'm going to start a campaign that cinnamon cider should be included in any future colour refresh. Because it's gorgeous, and we don't have a colour like it. Soft suede's nice, but it's not that orange. And Cajun craze is not that nice. Um, it's terracotta, not kind of burnt umber. And I know burnt umber is quite terracotta-ish. But anyway, that's just my humble opinion. Right, I even I even sorted out my ribbons yesterday. I had a really good day. So there we are. That is our first card. Quick, easy. Hello, Janice. Not only in business, but when you're with a friend or family. Absolutely. Well, if you're with a friend or family and you've got a mobile phone, frankly, you should turn it off. Um, we have more or less finished using your landline now too expensive for us to use oh fair enough yeah i mean we don't actually we only pay for the it's part of the wi-fi deal so we don't pay for it separately um uh, works in a library reference desk for yeah the person that's in front of you kind of you know Yes, cinnamon cider is beautiful. Thank you, Rachel. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Shaz. But yes, so that was a really easy card. So I cut that at three inches. So out of 12 inches, you could get four cards out of just one half. Um, so you could get eight cards out of one sheet of paper. Just saying. Oh, I had it far too near the camera. Apologies. Let me just make sure that I have got it properly in the camera now. More or less. It's, and that's the just because with those lovely um, new pearlescent dots, pearls, pearlescent, iridescent pearls. Anyway, so there'll be nice close up photographs. Thank you, Becky. Um, there'll be some nice close up cards on my website 
hopefully later today. Um, there are so many things in the new catalogue you want to order. Well, Bernadette is just as well you joined, so you get a discount. And anyone else who hasn't joined, please, during May, you're going to get in colour things free. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Um, whoever you join, wherever you are in the world, just join. Get a discount. Um, thank you, Becky. Thank you, B. And yes, cinnamon cider. I like cinnamon cider. Anyway, so that's my awash card. Um, let me one whole stamp. Um, I normally have a rule that when I open a, when I put the backing on one stamp, I put them put the backing on all the stamps in the set. So I must remember to do that with those. Right, let's pop this back in its bag like that. Right, okay, pop that over there so I can put it away properly later. Don't need the balmy blue anymore or the mossy meadow that I didn't use. Right, okay, so this is going to be a little different. Um, I've got two stamp sets, so I've got good feelings and I'm going to use this one. And I'm tempted to use that first. So I'm going to put everything else out of the way because that's a bit of a surprise. Although you may have seen that it's the rays of light. It is an amazing deal for new, for new starters. I mean, it's, it's just, it's what I would call a no brainer. Um, right, so I'm going to use the Stamparatus for two lots of stamping on this card. So let's start with a really tatty piece of grid paper. <clears throat> I wonder if the other side is any cleaner. It's probably worse. Ooh. And it's the other thing with it, Shaz, is it also means you've got everything. Oh, it's fine. Um, nearly fine. Um, it also means you, if you wanted to run a business and most don't so I'm just going to pierce the back of my thing because there's an air bubble or two which happens sometimes on larger stamps um, if you did actually want to run a business you have lots of nice new ink colors you've got um, you've got grid paper I think it's just and even you know if you're not if you don't want to uh, start a business and you just want to have the discount it's still a great deal and grid paper is amazing stuff so let's just it doesn't matter too much if this isn't central because I'm going to die cut it just saying right okay so oops wrong drawer I will need some white embossing powder momentarily. Uh, for the moment, what I actually need is my embossing buddy. I do miss embossing buddies. I'm very close to having to actually start a new one. This is one I had way back before I was, before I even knew Stamping Up existed. Um, but I do, I did, when we knew they were going, I stocked up. So, Versamark. And I'm going to be um, heat embossing with white, which I know I'm on white card. I'm just saying I am going to heat emboss with white. Just making sure I get a good impression. Mm, not perfect. I can see a few areas where a little more ink would be a good idea. I need to get one of those things that you, that's better. But yes, I need to get one of those things where you can press down rather than using your wrist because my wrists are rubbish. Uh, although having said that, I was at the gym this morning um, doing not even squat to press, but just press 12 kilos. Who would think that Less than a year ago, I wasn't even lifting five kilos. So 
So I was doing, I did squat to press on Tuesday with 12 kilos and today I was just doing press. Makes a big difference. Uh, Candy's been doing a spring clean with the new catalogue organising this week. That's good. It's been like free shopping discovering. <laughs> Absolutely. Did I hear you say you did scrapbooking? I do, Shaz. My first, my my craft passion is scrapbooking. Um, and I am intending to do scrapbooking videos. Uh, then they, they will be long, um, so it probably will be a live, but it will be an additional live. So there's a bit there that I do not like the look of. Let's get rid of you. Um, but yes, I do. I love scrapbooking. A dry erase board. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. I'm actually thinking of, I've got some, you know, that, that, um, wadding that you put underneath bits of furniture to stop them scratching the floor i'm thinking something along those lines um on a door handle because then you can really push uh right so i need my trusty cheese board and a heat gun i think this is going to be lovely you're not going to be able to see it for a while obviously because it's white on white. Now, you could use clear, but I prefer white for this. I, it's on my, it's probably be back end of May, beginning of June before I start on shares, but I will definitely be doing them. I love a bit of heat embossing. I could watch this all day. Oh, I just need to melt. Right, is everything else melted? Yep. That all looks, ooh, possibly not there. Right. Okay, so let's waft that off. Clipping the card down. Ooh, yes. My good old bulldog clip. Um, it's my lifesaver, otherwise I end up with burnt fingers. Yep, that is all melted. Right, okay, so I think I am going, well, the first thing I'm going to do is to remove that stamp from there because I'm going to need to put something else on. So let's pop that on there so I remember to clean it. And um, I need a scrap of paper. And now here's a thing. So I had my main order arrive yesterday, but I had the workshop order for my host code for last month. Um, out also and uh, where's it gone there it is um, and it was due to be delivered tomorrow no it's arrived today there's a wonderful thing sometimes these things do happen so I had one delivery yesterday and the other delivery today and then panicked that I hadn't got the right things but hey so I've recently re-inked this and it's quite quite juicy so I'm going to start off my card and come on to my card. This is Mango Melody. So it's a nice, bright colour. I don't want too many brush marks, but I don't think I did a particularly good job of spreading the ink when I re-inked. So this is going to be die cut, so I'm not too worried if it's not 
solid all over um, so long as it's solid in the middle your order arrived quickly did it excellent yeah we had a bit of a problem in the uk although the problem wasn't actually in the uk um so back in the day we were part of the eu so we didn't have to worry about things like customs um then last year we left was it two years ago we left the eu anyway we then had a nightmare with parcels being caught up in customs because uh, the Germans decided... Oh, I just realised I haven't got that light on. Um, the Germans decided to update their um, custom system at the beginning of January, just as we were leaving the EU. And then, of course, we had to have new customs software IT for coming into the UK. Or I should say Great Britain, because this doesn't impact Northern Ireland in the same way. Um so we just, you know, we kind of got through that. And then um, earlier this month, no, last month, um, the UK decided to update its software again for customs. And um, let's say it wasn't terribly successful. Uh, so any parcel that was shipped out of our warehouse on the 8th of April, yes, 8th of April, regardless of when it was ordered, if it was shipped on the 8th of April, it's taken about a month to arrive. Um, we are past that now. So things are back to what I would call normal. So we're getting our orders through. Um, when did I close off the workshop? So I closed off the workshop at the weekend. We had a bank holiday on Monday. That wouldn't have been packed because it wasn't in Germany. So yes, I closed it off at the weekend and it's Thursday today. Yeah. Um, and it was due to arrive on Friday. Can't complain. Uh, Bernadette needs to organise some storage space. Absolutely. I find Ikea's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I've just picked up on Candy's comments about, yeah, scrapbooking. And, yeah. I have to say, when I signed up as a demonstrator, because I always knew I wanted to run this as a business, um, I um, I had a purge. I have kept some old scrapbook supplies, but not many, and I haven't looked at them for the last six years. <laughs> so I'm going to be having another purge, I feel. The only thing we don't have... I'm just trying to find a post-it note. Um, other sticky notes are available. The only thing we don't really do particularly well, oh, it's there, can't see it for looking, um, are ephemera pieces. So this bit down here isn't going to be visible when I've die cut it, so I'm going to put my sticky note there because it can sometimes change the look of the ink. Um, but I don't particularly want Mango Melody fingers. I do just want a bit more up here. I don't want it completely solid Mango Melody, don't get me wrong, otherwise I might as well have just heat embossed on Mango Melody. Right, okay, I think we're kind of done with that. Clean that off a bit, pop it away. I'm going to let this kind of just settle for a wee bit. Um, get rid of that, don't need that. Get back my Stamperoratus. And my other die, not die, stamp. <laughs> oh, I've just seen Shaz's comment about just your whole house. Yes, yes, quite. I am actually quite controlled. Um, I went very lucky. I have my own craft room. Um, sorry, this has got embossing powder on it. Um, so I can. T I was going to say I only. I only put things in here, um, and the garage. So I'm at the back of the garage, um, and the garage has got quite a few stamping up boxes with retired items in them. Just saying. 
So every now and again, I do a giveaway where you can, um, you get a random box. I do, you know, just random um, of retired stuff. Rather than doing an actual bog off, I do a spend X and you'll get a box of retired stuff and it will be a surprise what you get. Um, just want to make sure that... Um, oh, I know how I should do this. Right. Okay. So. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just a little bit and just take a little bit of the sticky off. And then I'm going to pop this on here. It's I'm going to have to trim it down. So I'm going to pop... The magnets has just attached itself to the bottom of my stamparatus, which is not a surprise really. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close onto it, and that way I know where the piece of card will be, and it will be where I want it. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, and occasionally I do, but only occasionally. Now, the reason I put adhesive on the back of my card is because this is a background stamp which means there isn't enough space for the magnets. Then I'm just going to put the case there and I'm using my Mango Melody again. Finish your Millennium sample last year. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> I could not tell you when I last actually scrapbooked a page, a full page. I do have an excuse. I made every family member add a stitch. Lovely idea, Lorna. Yes, I really don't think I did a good job of um, re-inking this. But I'm going to persevere. I am going to persevere. And the joy of the Stamparatus is if at first you don't succeed, try again. So, elbow at the ready. So I'm just reading, while I'm doing this, I'm just reading some of your comments that I missed. So Candy did, you've been planning scrapbook of your son's scouting experiences in one album. What a lovely, lovely idea. Oh, 21 years later. Right, so this is the bit that I need to really get into. Better. Now, it's not meant to be a clean stamp. It's got texture to it. So it's not meant to be a solid stamp, just so you are aware. That actually stamped better than I thought it was going to. So I can now take the paper off there, close that up, put away this. Famous last words, there we go. So pop that away, grab a piece of kitchen roll, just ordinary cheap and nasty kitchen roll, and my, my this, and I can now polish this, which will take some of the ink off the heat embossed area so that the heat embossed area will pop a bit more. It does mean you can now see all the bits that were where you didn't really want them, but you know. So, it's not a white white, it's because we've obviously inked over it, but it's not bad. Right, so I'm using the contour dies, what do we call them? We call them the scalloped contour dies, carryover item. So, let me grab my big mama. And my plates. 
So if you're in Europe, the magnetic base plate should be in stock later this month. I'm not the wrong one. Um, I think it's due sometime around the middle of the month. Right, so I want this to be I want this to be smaller, so I'm going to make it smaller. It may not be perfect when I finish it, but it's going to be okay. So Oh, the Stamparatus Ber uh, Bernadette is a game changer. Um, and it's actually cheaper to get the Stamparatus than to get all of the blocks. Um, so, yes. Right, so the key to this is to find, is to get it lined up with your scallop. Now what you can do, if you're concerned, is you can turn everything the other way up. So I will, let me just get myself ready and then I will show you what I'm doing. So I'm lining up my die with the scallops, so it will die cut there. Um, so fingers crossed, but I'm doing it upside down so that I can see where everything is. Now, the other thing you need to bear in mind is you don't really want your dots to go all the way off the edge of your the other end. So what I'm going to do, let me see if I can get this in camera. Just about. So let me see, let me just bring. Yeah, just wanted to check that we were about where we needed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pop that down. I'm gonna put it at an angle. Just a little bit of an angle. Now it's not going to line up perfectly, but it is pretty close. And I'm going to pop my plate away from that edge. I'm actually going to move that edge further in. And then I'm going to pop my plate so that none of the plate overlaps that end. If you get what I'm doing now then getting it through is always a little bit of an interesting challenge. I might have to actually do it the other way around. I'm going to do it the other way around. So I'm going to do it so that's off the end there. And this, it it's, depends on your particular cut and emboss or other machine. Oh, come along and play ball. Yay! Cross this works. Do you think it's worked? I hope it has. Right. Oh. It's not bad. I have got dots here. This was get this was inevitable. time frame for the mini magnetic don't know Pam hello Pam didn't know you were there uh, we haven't had a date for the mini magnetic yet um, hopefully in this catalog but other than that can't tell you um, 28 now I'm finished as eagle rank at 15 <laughs> finally got non guy themed stuff that I can enjoy excellent also did scrapbooks for your 18 international exchange sons. Wow. So, yes. How to cut down your die cut. Now, this is a little bit... It needs just a little bit of help to get that circle. That side was worse than this side. I think I might just about be able to live with most of that. There we go. But, yes. So that's that. Now this we need to cut down. So what I'm going to be doing is that. Just so you know. Um, and I've got a white card base somewhere buried under my craft moth. So 
let me grab my trimmer and I'm just going to trim these white bits off and that will then dictate the size of the mat that I'm going to cut it to. Now, of course, we've got glue on the back of this. So can I get away with five and a half? No, not really. Right, so let's take another in eighth of an inch off. So I'm taking in total a quarter of an inch off. So this is five and three eighths. Yes, I will have measurements over on my website later, hopefully today. This is normally three and seven eighths, so I'm going to bring it down to three and five eighths. And I'm going to take it off this side in one go. And then what I think I might do, I wonder if I've got one cut. Knowing me, no, is the answer to that. Do I have, ooh, no, that's not Mango Melody. No, no Mango Melody, that's fine. I can cut a Mango Melody because I want to then put it on a mat. No, no Mango Melody. So, Mango Melody out of my drawer. I'm just wondering if I can get away with this. The answer is probably not. Ooh, I might. Waste well, not, want not. No, I'm not going to be. Oh, actually, I could take it down a bit, couldn't I? So I could go to three and three quarters. Straight would be good. No, I'm going to be good. I'm going to cut a new one. I was just thinking I might have been able to get away with it, but it's a bit too close to the edge in more ways than one. So, it's fine. New piece. So five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. International uh, centimeters and North American cardstock measurements will be on my website later. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there like that. Perfect. Liking it. Okay. Normally I don't use liquid adhesive on the back of basic white, but because it's got a busy front, I'm going to get away with it. We do this number. Yeah, Karen, absolutely use for use your large your stamper asses for the large blocks. Um, because it does give you the opportunity to have another go. So this is just going to go on to a mango melody card base. Um Matt even. Uh thank you, Candy. Sixteenth of May for the magnetic plate. Thank you, Kay. Hello, Kay. And in Australia. Clearly not on the same boat because it would be going in a very odd direction if it was the same boat. Ship. It's not a ship. It's not a boat. It's a ship. So here's a question for those of you in South Pacific. So if I am, if I remember correctly, your warehouse is in Australia. So presumably if things are being sent from Australia to New Zealand, they have to go through customs? Or do you have a, a deal where you don't have to? So I'm going to cover up this sun and just have it but up so that we've got more of the ray down here. And this is going on dimensionals. Ooh, and I've just thought of something else that's new that might or might not work. And I think I know where, they, I, think I, know where I put them. Maybe. And it may be a step too far, but it's in my brain now, so I'm going to have a look. So, yes, do you go through, do you have to go through customs between Australia and New Zealand, or do you have a, a customs union? And I'm guessing the same is for Canada. Do you have to go through customs in, to get stuff from the US to Canada? So that's that. Let me see. It's these, what I'm looking for is in one. Oh, it's in here. 
I don't think they're going to work because they are very daffodil delight. No, they're too yellow. They're too yellow. I don't think we've got. Ooh, ooh, those might work. I mean, they're pale papaya, but I'm never one to stick with warehouses in Sydney. But yeah, but do you have to go through? So if you're shipping stuff to New Zealand, so if New Zealand demos are ordering, does it have to go through? You don't think they have to go through customs? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Right, I'm just going to see if these are going to work or not. Oh, I quite like that. As I say, these are pale papaya, but I'm open to using them anyway. So I'll have a biggish one down there. And then, oh, I'm going to make this an expensive card to send. So I'm going to have one of these up. I'm going to have to order more of these because I'm liking them a lot. So, you know, I liked the in-colour jewels for these in-colours last year. <laughs> it's going to happen again. I was, it, I was just curious. I mean, I don't know. If I'm just, yeah, wondering. Because we never used to when we were part of the EU. Um, and now we're not. <laughs> Um, so two very different cards today using new stuff so this is the one we've just done um, I do like a nice big sentiment filling a card so no designer series paper there at all and then designer series paper taking front and centre on this one so yes two very different cards um, so if you're liking them a little bit of thumbs up would be lovely let me just take a quick drink Mm. so I love this paper I think um, th there's a project that I've got coming up in early July that I'm planning um, and I need a paper that is predominantly pink um, and I think I might have found it I was thinking Abigail Rose but it's not predominantly pink it's got pink in it but thank you Candy thank you Lorna I should ask my buddy Kylie. Absolutely. You're correct. I need to send her a message. So maybe I should include that as well. It's just curious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I'm going to do my usual. I need to say goodbye properly. Um, and I need to see people to say goodbye properly. Thank you, Karen. So let me flip the camera up. There we go. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you're watching on replay, do remember any comments in um, the comment spaces below the description bar. Um, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you, Nora. Um, and I will be doing something random tomorrow. I don't know what, but I will be doing something random tomorrow. Saturday, I will try and remember to do a simple stamping Saturday for Saturday. Oh, I know what I could use. Ooh, ooh, yes, I know what I could use. Saturday afternoon, I have my first new catalogue launch afternoon tea um, with a few people joining for afternoon tea and a Zoom party. Must send the email out with the Zoom link. Um, the parcels have gone with their afternoon tea and their make and take packs, but not the email yet. Note to self. Um, and then later in the month, I will probably do a launch party, um, generally one weekend as well, um, with different things and obviously not make and takes. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I say, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed yourself. Any questions or comments on replay below the description bar. I'll get these photographed and onto my website this afternoon. Um, and I'll put the link in the description bar and then tomorrow I'll be back at some random moment 
um, to share some more madness. So, oh Jane, you're there. Hello Jane. Um, thank you Kay, thank you Sherry. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Um, I will see you again very soon, I hope. If you subscribe and hit the alert bell, when I go live randomly, you will get an email to say that I've gone live. Just And you can then turn the alert bell off when I stop doing my daily lives. Um, so just bear that in mind, but it may help. Anyway, bye bye. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Take care.